There's a cluster of older buildings in Seoul's Muledong area where ironworks shop workers and artists can be seen honing their crafts side by side. Let's take a look. Stepping out of Mule Station in Seoul, you find a very special alley. The area was originally home to a steel complex, but now it's the Mule Craft Village where the area's former character has blended with the arrival of artists. Mule Dong is in the 70s. 철공서 산업을 이끌었던 상징적인 것입니다. 2000년대에 들어서 젊은 예술가들이 하나둘 모여들면서 800여 개 크고 작은 철공서와 300여 명의 예술가가 공주하는 예술 창자촌이 형성이 되었습니다. An unmanned information kiosk at the entrance is the beginning of the alley. The road is filled with steel structures and statues such as a huge hammer and a robot made with recycled iron. It's fun to look for wall paintings hidden in the alleyways. 좀 독특한 그림도 있고 조형물도 많고 그래가지고 처음에는 좀 이상할 것 같았는데 걸어다 보니까 재미가 있어요. 그래서 좀 좋은 것 같아. A cluster of artist studios is also located here. Here is a leather studio where labor-intensive handmade leather bags come to life. This peculiar building, painted completely blue, is home to a glasses maker. 본인이 원하는 디자인을 직접 수작업을 통해서 제작해 볼수 있는 곳입니다. Visitors can not only pick out the color and design of the frame of their glasses, but also take part in the more intimate design work. 모양부터 색깔까지 다 제가 고르고 직접 만든 거라 정말 멋있고 정말 뿌듯해요. There's a book cafe where people can drop by and get some rest. There's also exhibition spaces where modern art shows are open free of charge. This may sound rather odd, but at one place, various fruit jams are made from scratch. 사람들이 친숙하게 오고 갈수 있는 편안한 공간을 만들고 싶었습니다. 그래서 평소 즐겨 만들었던 수제 잼과 청을 만드는 공방을 열게 되었습니다. Visitors enjoy a time of bonding as they share homemade jams and sandwiches. 골목에 예쁜 작품들도 구경하고요. 또 여기 와서 취미로 음식도 배우고 또 먹어보고 하니까 너무 생활 즐겁네요. In Muledong, iron foundries have transformed into a craft center brimming with warmth and creativity. <목소리>